Glory is one of those things that, well, I know what it is, but I find it hard to describe. But I think we all have a sense of it. Maybe a taste of our own personal glory for a job well done, or beholding someone else's glory, or the glory of a sunrise, or the glory of a sunset. But what do we mean by the glory of God? That's really the key question. The Bible kind of describes it in a couple of ways. In the Old Testament, we have this sense of glory being heaviness, weightiness. Glory has to do with gravitas. In the New Testament, what we have is a sense of glory being radiance, of splendor, of brilliance, of light, something really shiny and magnificent. But actually, I think it's a combination of those ideas when it comes to the glory of God. I think ultimately the glory of God is the radiance of his character. In the book of John, he's very interested in giving us more of a revelation of the glory of God focused in Jesus Christ. And maybe somewhat ironically or counterintuitively, the high point of the glory of Jesus in John's gospel is when he is put to death. From the world's perspective, this is completely inglorious. There's nothing glorious about it, it's shameful. But it reveals the character of God. We see that God's heart is one of self-sacrificial love, of serving other people, of lowering himself in order that we might benefit, that we might be saved. And so in that act of offering his life for us, the cross reveals who God really is. And therefore, it is the high point of glory because glory is the radiance of God's character.